Hi there, welcome back. Today we are in Warman, Saskatchewan, and we are going to check out the Warman Thrift Shop. And sometimes I can find the odd vintage item in here. Their prices are really inexpensive. So let's go on in and see if I can find any vintage items to keep for myself or resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. And the first thing I spot is this adorable kitschy little cream and sugar and salt and pepper shaker set the bowls i don't know what the price is i don't know i don't see a price on it i'm gonna find out what they want for this set it's in pretty good condition this little guy is missing his cold paint but i don't see any major chips or cracks so I'm gonna see what they want for this set and I will probably pick it up. It's pretty cute. So they're gonna give me the whole set for $4. So that is an incredible price. I'm not seeing a whole lot here. I did spot this copper cream and sugar set. Got a lot of patina on it. And there's some some wear on the copper there, so it's only four dollars, but with that wear there, I think I will leave it behind. There's some little salt and pepper shakers, but they are a little bit rough shape, so we'll leave those ones. I'm curious about this dish. It's Ironstone J and G Meekin, England. I really like the pattern on there, but there is only one bowl. It's a pretty blue set. I believe that is, I'm not sure where that is made. Probably France or Brazil, Indonesia. It's a nice set for $10. It's a Hawaiian souvenir plate. The 50th state. Some candle holders and a few knickknacks over here in this area. Let's see if there's any amazing candle holders. some crazing on this piece but it looks like a more modern piece I don't think there's a lot of age crazing maybe just to make it look like it has a lot of age Ooh, what do we have here that is a very cool bear I don't see any marks. Oh, it says Japan. There is some, I don't know if that's paints, speckles. Maybe it was in a room that got painted and got some speckles from the paint on it, but I think I could probably get that off. I really like the color and the glaze. It is lighter. You can tell it's not a blue mountain pottery piece or a McMaster's but it's got a really fun glaze on it there's no chips or cracks so I'm gonna grab it for four dollars got the cow set for four dollars and the bear for four dollars so I spent eight bucks 
And I'm going to go check out another thrift shop in Warman here. It is called Ideal to You. So let's go on over there and check it out. A couple pieces of pottery souvenir pieces. Deluxe bar set. Triple plated chrome. Not sure. Is that for wine, possibly? Wine making? Bar set? I don't know. What's in this box? Nothing. Well, those are fancy. We have that toll. Is that toll painting, I believe? Two dollars. I'll grab that. Some wood pieces over here. This one is from Haiti. This is a really nice wood box. It's only two dollars, so I will definitely grab that. Pretty little cream and sugar, Sadler, England. I think it is missing the lid though. I think that would have a lid. Kiln craft. M&M. This piece is interesting. It's one dollar. This is wood. It's an interesting little art set. Cute little paint brushes. Little dishes to put your paint in. Your frame. It's made in China. It's only 50 cents. Um, I think I'll grab that for 50 cents. I found a mirror. This one dollar. It's not super old. I believe it is vintage. And this wouldn't be too bad to ship, so I'm going to grab it for a dollar. I didn't find a whole lot in there, but I did find a few vintage items and my total was $5.50. And I took a drive down the highway and I am now at MCC Clothes Basket in Rostern, Saskatchewan. So let's go on in and see if we can find anything in here. Book sale, five dollars for a full basket. Wow. This is the area where they usually have their vintage and collectibles. Glass, red glass vase, ten dollars. Some Blue Mountain Pottery. I have this piece listed in my shop already. I think these are Bartlett Collins pieces. Some yellow depression glass. This is really cute. But no sugar bowl or no creamer. Barber 
Coffee Shop. Three dollars. Made in Switzerland. That's kind of neat. I have sold vintage shaving items. So I think for three dollars I will grab that. It's kind of neat piece. There's some vintage Watkins tins here, nutmeg, ginger, and I think this is cinnamon. They're a dollar each, so I'm going to grab these. These are fun for display. Now let's check out downstairs. It's pretty busy upstairs, so come down here and see what we can find. I usually find the best stuff down here anyways, so... Well, that's nice. I wish that would fit in my car. A <laughs> hundred dollars. And this little baggie full of birds and there's some bunnies in there. This one does have a chip on the ear. It's been repaired. There's a little glass bunny in there. That's only $2 for the bag. So I think I'm going to grab this. And some linens here. I don't see any vintage pillowcases that I am interested in. Maybe some tablecloths or something, but not seeing any. Here's a very large cookie jar, but it is broken. I only want $2 for it, unfortunately. It's broken. I imagine that would have had a handle. I think it is supposed to look like a coffee grinder. There's a few salt and pepper shakers here. Not too much. These are modern. Those would be nice around Thanksgiving or Halloween. This guy is made of resin. It's a pepper grinder here. It's only two dollars. Looks like in okay condition. There's a couple. Oh, there's a couple gouges in it. So I think I will leave it. Lots of shot glasses. A flower frog. Four dollars. So books are five dollars for a full basket. I doubt I'm going to find a full basket, but I'm going to have a look and see if there's any books that I might be interested in. Storage Solutions, over 100 creative ideas for utilizing space around the home. Border crossings? Ah, the Boreal Forest. I live within the Boreal Forest. There is the Boreal Forest. I believe. Yes. Well, I'm just, I'm just outside of the boreal forest. I used to live within the boreal forest, <laughs> but that is the boreal forest. Well, 
this looks like kind of an interesting book. got in here. Jade Country. The History of Batash. That is not very far from here. Doesn't look like... Oh, there's some pictures. Nice art in this book. The Frozen Coast. Oh, I would not want to go kayaking there. <laughs> the Glass Castle. That is actually a really good book. I read that quite a few years ago. have a look through these books and see if there's any that I am interested in purchasing and I will get back to you if I find anything. All right let's go right into the haul and I will show you everything that I got from all three thrift stores. Okay let's do a quick tabletop haul from all three thrift stores. We'll start off with the Warman thrift shop and I grabbed these Kitchy Cow Salt and Pepper Shakers and Creamer and Sugar set and it was four dollars for the whole set. Very kitschy. They're in overall good condition. A bit of wear on some of the cold paint but other than that I don't see any chips or cracks. They have their stoppers. The sugar bowl has a little plastic spoon with it. There's no maker's mark on these pieces, but I did have a similar set in purple and it had a Japan stamp on the bottom. So I'm thinking they are likely Japan. And I paid $4 for all four pieces. And I grabbed this bear, ceramic bear, Japan stamped, it was $4. There is some speckles on it, but I was able to remove some of it with my fingernail so likely just got some overspray when someone painted in a room and didn't remove the items that were in the room so it's got a little bit of paint speckle on it but I can get that off so I will take that off before I list it I really like the color and the glaze on that piece so that was everything from there that was eight dollars I spent in there and then I went over to Ideal to You and grabbed this knife and fork set with the toll paint on it. Doesn't look like it was ever used. I really like the design on the pieces. A wood handle and gold colored metal. So that was two dollars and I grabbed this mirror for one dollar. Really nice condition. I'm not sure if I'm going to list that or keep it for my own wall decor. And I grabbed this picture frame. It was made in China but the sticker is older so I believe it is a vintage piece. It has an older sticker and uh, it was only 50 cents. I just thought it was a cute little picture frame with a cute vintage photo print in it. Nice green color or teal. And this box was two dollars. It's a really nice wood. It does have a little bit of, it's not a crack but it's just kind of coming loose a bit on the base here. Still really intact. It's not like falling apart or anything, but likely from just being dry. We have really dry winters and that happens to wood sometimes if it's not conditioned. 
and the lid has a little bit of a crack in it as well. I don't know if that is a flaw in the wood or or what, but it is not all the way through either. It's just the very top of the wood. But it's a really nice piece. You can tell that the wood is really nice quality. It's got quite a lot of weight to it. And that was two dollars. So I spent eight dollars in Ideal to You and then I drove down the highway and went to Rostern and just found a couple things in there. I found this vintage shaving brush. It is made in Switzerland and the shaving cup. It was three dollars for the two pieces. I have sold quite a few shaving items in my shop. So I will list those two together. And I grabbed these vintage tins, Watkins tins. This one is cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. And these are, this still has nutmeg in it. <laughs> you can feel it. They were a dollar each. And these are great for display. These two would be, they would be fun for Christmas display or whatever. So I got those, and then all these pieces were in a bag for $2. These birds, these three are hand-carved wooden birds. And these ones, I believe, are made with real feathers. And then this bunny, I thought that it was glass, but it's not. It's plastic or acrylic or lucite. And I will probably just add this to a package. Someone who orders something Easter related, I'll put this in their package as a free gift. And this guy, I knew he had a repair. His ear is repaired. Not the best repair job, <laughs> but it was only $2 for the package, and I just thought, well, it looks like there's some interesting pieces in there, so I got it. And this little guy is in really good condition. He does have a, a darker craze mark here, crazing. It's not a crack, it's just a dark line, but overall in good condition, so. And then I found a couple pieces of jewelry, a few brooches. I grabbed this green enamel painted brooch. I love these. It was three dollars. And this one is a Millefiori piece. It's Millefiori in there. Probably saying that wrong. And it was four dollars. So that was everything that I got from Rostern Clothes Basket. And I spent fourteen dollars in there. And that is everything from my haul. So thank you so much for joining me. If you're new and you like my content, be sure to subscribe. If you hit that bell button, it will notify you when I upload new videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave me a comment. And until next time, have a great day.